Now, Emmy Award-winning actor Steven Yun, <coughs> of course, had been cast in the Marvel Cinematic Universe as their version of Superman, basically the OP of OP comic book characters, Sentry, to be in the upcoming movie Thunderbolts. Now, unfortunately, as they've explained ad nauseum, due to like months and months and months of writer strikes, actor strikes, all that kind of stuff, schedules have been thrown into complete disarray. Steven Yeun is no longer available to do the movie when they need to make it. So they announced a few weeks ago that he was leaving. Well, according to a report now, they may have their guy in Lewis Pullman. This comes to us from The Hollywood Reporter who writes the following. Lewis Pullman may be getting a jolt, courtesy of Marvel Studios. The Top Gun Maverick actor is Marvel's top choice to star in Thunderbolts and as an offer for the role vacated by Steven Yeun earlier this month. Pullman, who is the son of actor Bill Pullman, I love Bill Pullman, mm -hmm. uh, played Lieutenant Robert Bob Floyd in Top Gun Maverick, the $1.5 billion box office juggernaut. Other notable credits include Bad Times at the El Royale, I really liked him in that, and the TV series Outer Range. He recently starred uh, in Lessons in Chemistry opposite Marvel star Brie Larson. I like Lewis Pullman. <clears throat> I, I, every time I've seen him, I've liked him. I haven't seen enough of him to think this guy is like going to be a serious, serious player. But I like what I've seen. And clearly, if they think he might be the right guy to play Sentry, I got to tell you, though, I do love his dad. I Like Bill Pullman, whether it's was in obviously space balls <laughs> yeah right i mean he was so good and iconic in space balls not and if then we jam them what's that not if we jam them. not if we jam them <laughs> only one person would give me the raspberry <laughs> lone star uh and then of course as the president in independence day and then he did that what was that rom-com he did with sandra bullock while you were sleeping while yeah, you while were sleeping. sleeping which was absolutely so delightful. charming that was a delightful film. i love his dad at any rate uh, I think this is pretty cool, and it sounds like they're sticking on with Sentry. Again, it's got to be brought up whenever the Sentry topic comes up. They cannot do a comic-accurate Sentry. No. They can't. It's going to have to be a very depowered Sentry. You can still make him really powerful in the MCU, but, I mean, basically nothing touches this guy. This guy has every superpower there is on the, on the books. At the end of World War Hulk with the most invincible Hulk of all time, the one character they sent in to fight him one on one to bring the story to a close was Sentry. Nothing in the Thunderbolts can deal with that. Nothing in the MCU right now can deal with that. So uh, they're going to have to make some changes into power and bit, but I'm still kind of curious about this. Guys, we want to take a second to thank a sponsor of this video. Mint Mobile. On average, it takes about 30 days for a person to break their New Year's resolution. So if saving money was on your 2024 list, your odds aren't looking that great. Luckily, I have a 100% guaranteed way to save you money this year. Just switch to Mint Mobile. For a limited time, wireless plans from Mint Mobile are $15 a month when you purchase a three-month plan. That's unlimited talk, text, and data for $15 a month. I've told you guys many times that after switching to Mint Mobile, I am spending less than a third on my cell bill than I used to with a major carrier. Say goodbye to your overpriced wireless plans, jaw-dropping monthly bills, and unexpected overages. All Mint plans come with unlimited talk and text, plus high-speed data delivered on the nation's largest 5G network. And don't worry about having to change phones or numbers. Use your own phone with any Mint Mobile plan and bring your phone number along with all your existing contacts. So guys, to get this new customer offer and your new three-month unlimited wireless plan for just 15 bucks a month, go to mintmobile.com slash cam. That's mintmobile.com slash campia. Cut your wireless bills to 15 bucks a month at mintmobile.com slash campia. Additional taxes, fees, and restrictions apply. See Mint Mobile for details. Chris, I, I kind of like the choice of Lewis Pullman if yeah. this gets signed. I mean, there were other names we batted around. His wasn't one of them, but I, I like it. He's pretty good. Mm -hmm. What do you think about it? I do like this. I like the idea because for a while, Ryan Gosling was who everyone was kind of saying was in talks and maybe that's who we're getting to next. I really like the idea, and I understand that he is Bill Pullman's son, but I like the idea of relatively unknown actors mm. being in the Marvel Cinematic Universe. Mm. That's how we started, where it was people who needed to have a revitalization to their career right? Robert Downey Jr. Or people who were just starting, the Tom Hiddlestons, the Chris Hemsworths, those kind of people. And this launched them, 
right? The Anthony Hopkins. <laughs> oh yeah, man. Little Just known guy, for his big little known guy named Tony. You know, sweet, sweet man. Um, so I like the idea of this, especially because he's had a pretty varied career so far too. Obviously, Bob and Top Gun Maverick. He was in Bad Times of the uh, uh, El Royale. El Royale. Oh, yeah. Which um, I only just realized that was him when I brought up this yeah. image. I'm like, oh man. Right. I know that guy. Uh, he just finished um, Lessons in Chemistry with, with Brie, Brie Larson. Larson. Yeah. Really, really great actor here. And I can definitely play, see him playing the pre-century version of this. The mm. troubled character here. The addict. Who goes the and addict. grabs that serum because he's looking for a fix. And then that journey. Because he definitely has the emotional chops to Look at those. He's thinking about it. He's, he's like, I should, about I should take serum those. Right I'd now. be a better What if I didn't need a plane to fly yeah. <laughs> Exactly. And what I do like about him in particular, too, in previous interviews, because we've also talked briefly about nepotism with some of these car uh, actors and, you know, dynasty families and things like that. Lewis Pullman has said so many times of my dad and I talk about this. I mean, we've talked about the double edged sword of this and how I really need to be good. I really need to hone my craft so people take me seriously and not just go, oh, Bill Pullman's kid. Yeah. Because even though he's got that last name, when I watched Top Gun Maverick, I was like, I love this guy. Who's he? I didn't even associate him with yeah. his dad. And I think that's what ultimately all of these young actors want is to stand on their own two feet. I'm well, sure that name helped get him places, but he's he's one to watch. And I like the idea of this. Yeah, but it's also not like Pullman is Cruz. Exactly. <laughs> you, know? you know? Yeah. He's not he wasn't actually the president. You yeah. know, he has so much power. <laughs> but that's that's also just like in real life. If your parents are connected, that helps you get an interview there somewhere. If you yeah. know somebody someplace, it's gonna help you get somewhere. It's these people who prove time and time again that they're great actors or yeah. great workers or whatever. I love seeing them get to, big, big breaks. To me, you're like the I don't even use that term, but you're the Nepo baby. If you got in and you suck and they just keep giving you work. Yeah, exactly. Yeah. And you don't deserve that's it. the double edged sword part of it, right? Yes. Because I have a feeling that <clears throat> it could go both ways. Like if if you're not really good and you got a famous last name, it may increase people's uh, uh, tendency to just reject you. It's so, like, oh, it's just. That's why Nicholas Cage changed well, his how name. How come no one was rejecting Carrie Fisher? I'm just because she had she came from two lineages of. Mm -hmm. Yeah, and then and then she came out and and look, you can even look at something like, um, uh, what's Russell's first name? Oh, uh, Kurt, oh, Kurt Wyatt. Oh, oh Wyatt. Wyatt. Yeah. Right? yeah. If Wyatt wasn't great, I like Wyatt. Man. People would just say what he was in the uh, Falcon Winter Soldier store. Mm. Oh, he's the Walmart version of Kurt. Yeah, Russell. he's Kirkland, Kurt Russell, but yeah. he's not Kirkland, Kirkland, Kirkland. Kurt Russell. Yeah. I like that. That's good. <laughs> but, but, but instead, he's turned he's out to be great. Fabulous. Yeah. yeah, it's so so great that I actually want to go. I'm trying to look for that uh, uh, Walmart uh, Captain America figure now, just because oh, yeah. I liked him in Monarch so much. It's completely changed my view on that character when I was. But let's get back to Century because yeah, yeah. there's the biggest Century fan in the room here is you, Ray. What yeah. do you think about the idea well, of Lewis playing? You this? bring up Hulk. You know how you know like uh, he's overpowered. They're probably gonna Hawaiian shirt Century, too. Yeah, like, as well. <clears throat> I mean, um, I I like it. I mean, I I agree with Chris. Get these actors that haven't really been exposed to like, give them a shot. Like with these characters that most of the people don't know anyways. So introduce a, 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 a new actor, a fairly new actor with a new character and just swing big. That's all, you know, I, let's go, let's do it. Let's, mm -hmm. let's start, let's start production already. Let's go, you know? All right. Hey guys, thanks so much for watching this video. Make sure you like the video, leave a comment and subscribe to our channel. And don't forget, we have a daily podcast called the John Campy Show podcast available on Apple Podcasts, Spotify, or your favorite podcasting app of choice. Go and subscribe to it today so it'll be there when you need it.